Are your pipes leaking, concrete spalling, or other infrastructure threatened by corrosion? HydraRap is your solution. In this video, we discuss the basic application process. The first step is making sure that there are no active leaks. For an active flow will displace the epoxy. That means you're going to have to use a clamp or temporarily shut down the system. The next step is surface prep, and that means getting the substrate clean, dry, textured, but uniform. And this can be done through grit blasting or grinding to remove loose paint, debris, foreign buildup, anything like that, and filling in voids with thickened epoxy. That way you don't end up with any pockets between the wrap and the substrate. The next step is preparing your primer epoxy. You take the two components and combine them together and mix until there's no more marbling. You want a consistent color throughout. The next step is applying that primer. You want to make sure that you apply it thick enough that you can't see the substrate and you want to go one inch beyond wherever you expect the fabric to lay. Next, we're going to thoroughly mix the two components of the wet out resin. And just as a note, when you mix the two components of either the wet out resin or the primer epoxy, you have 15 minutes of work time and four hours before it's dry. After that, you're going to lay out your fabric and saturate it with the resin. You're going to pass over it one time this way, then flip the fabric over and pass over it again. Once it's fully saturated, you want to go over it one more time to make sure there's no excess resin. In many instances, the fabric is simply too long. It becomes unmanageable to do it all in one go. Therefore, you have to do it in portions or even cut the fabric. And when you do have to cut the fabric, put tape on either side, then cut through the tape. This ensures that the fibers of the fabric don't become frayed while you're cutting. Now that you have the saturated fabric, we're going to slowly apply it to the primered surface. We're doing it nice and slow to make sure that there's no wrinkles, air pockets, anything like that. We want a nice sag-free application. As you slowly position the fabric, you'll see some of the primer seeping through, and that's a good sign. Once you finish the first layer, make note of where the seam is. The seam of the next layer should be nowhere near it. So on a pipe, if your seam is on this side, the seam of the second layer should be on the opposite side. The minimum number of layers for a HydraRap application is two, so at this point you might be done. However, if you have other layers left, go ahead and repeat the previous steps until they're all done. The next step is sort of dependent on whether or not you think the repair area will be exposed to sunlight. If so, you're going to want to apply a UV resilient coating. And just like that, you're done. That's the HydraRap basic application process. Music